Okay, Melly, we've looked through and picked out the designs we're trying to become off of. The question is, what wood do we want to make out of? We can make it out of cherry and have a nice piece of thick stuff with a little bit of figure in it. Mm. We've got alder, nice and clean and straight. That'll be a little bit easier to work with. Or we've got white oak, one of my favorites, but a little bit harder to work with. So, what wood do you want it to make made out of? This one. Cool. And it's the closest one to pink. <laughs> it's the closest one to pink, yes, of course. <laughs> I'm gonna cut this and make a base. Okay. And then we're gonna have one arm coming up out of the, uh, the, uh, the mahogany. <laughs> and then we'll have another arm coming out and the lamp will be hanging on that. Okay. okay. So if this is the desk, how tall do you want the lamp to be? Six inches to a foot tall. So six inches is here, a foot is here. Yeah, foot is about the high I Probably about here. Let's go a little taller. Yeah, yeah, that. Okay, so one arm, two arm. Light, don't push hard, don't push hard. Nope, you went away. You went off. Keep it light. There you go. Now go back up the top and push a little bit harder. Keep it tight up against there. Cut on this side of the line. So I'll start it for you. Really jumpy. Ugh. There you go. Yeah. Okay, there's our base. So what we've got is this is isn't gonna be flat on the table, it's actually gonna be up at an angle. So this mm -hmm. is going to go through at an angle, and we're gonna have a dowel going through the post and a dowel going through the post so the foot sticks all the way down. So we're going to put this on here, and I'm going to, have, I'm going to do one side, and you're going to do the other. Now notice, I'm holding it here. I'm not holding it out here. Now start up here. No, no, look, it's got to be, you got to keep the fence against it. There you go. Now pull it back. Oop, came off a little ways. I have one beam. That's the vertical one. Mm -hmm. and then we want another one to come out. We want that one to actually sandwich the first beam. Do you see? Mm -hmm. So in order to do that, uh, it needs to be three times the size of this one. So it has a stick on the other side, what it sandwiches, and another stick. Right here. Like that. There you go. Keep it tight. Your fence tight against. Oop. When you got to the end, you were turning like this. Don't turn it like that. It's got to keep it straight. There you go. Try it again. There you go. Keep going. Keep. You can go. Right now, you're only using a little bit of the saw. Make a little bit longer swing. <laughs> yep. There you go. Am I back on yep, you're good. <laughs> Japanese saws aren't easy to turn. It's okay. So I'm going to use my saw, bring it back onto the line. Are you ready? Okay. Do you want the Japanese saw? Keep going. There you go. On this side, we're really close to the line, but this side we need a lot more. So when we plane it, we want to make sure that we're leaning on this side. Now, you're trying to lean too much this way. We want to keep it flat. There you go. Do the middle area where it's high. There you go. This will go into there, down like this. So it'll be something like that. And then this will go into there, and so it'll be down to something like this. Let's bring this one in close. See how it's hitting some places and not others? Mm -hmm. How many times? Uh, quite a few. Start with the weight here. Then put the weight on the back. You see where we're at? Almost there. Just like three or four more passes. You try, you try a couple. So I'm going to mark this side. And I want you to mark the other side. This side over here. 
Nope, just like you had it, just like you had it. Yep, that's right. Don't push, don't push straight down. Turn it like this, now push it back. There you go, just like that. Then as I bring it back this way, it straightens out. And then I can also see it go up and down. And so this lets me know exactly when I'm cutting at 90 degrees. Look at your reflection. I will hold it and you drill it. Okay? So other way, other way, other way. There you go, that way. Okay, you drill it. Keep going. Whoops, stop, 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 stop. Back up. See that crack on there? We don't want that crack. So to fix that crack, we're going to change things around. Okay, crank it. Okay, stop. Look over here, the bit is sticking out. You see the bit sticking out? Now what we can do is we can stop it and turn it around and drill from the other side. There we go, we got a hole. Now here's the question, Melody. Can we get a square peg in a round hole? No. So how do we do that? Chisel it out. Chisel, good work. <laughs> You hit it. Come on, hit it. Okay, wait, wait, wait. That's good. Wait. Three good taps. Okay, that's good, that's good. Ooh, that's really close. So either we can make the square bigger or we can make the stick smaller. Mm, square a little bigger. I think that's the best choice. There you go. And let's see if that was enough. Did that fit? Hey, look, it fits. Okay, tap. Okay, wait, wait. Tap. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. That's good. Okay, <laughs> tap. Okay. Before we go on, we need to chisel this. Since we're chiseling, let's chisel this. There you go. We can take that little piece out. Now we can pound it down farther this way. There you go. Yes. Now, do you think that stick will fit into there? I think so. You think so? Let's see. Mm -mm. So this goes on here, and this hangs from it. So that'll we'll put that up into there. And this is in there. I'm going to pull those bits over. See, what, what's going to happen is if we have it up like this, this will start to sag. So we have to have a way of clamping this so it doesn't move. Put this on there and right there. See how that goes? Mm -hmm. So now we're going to keep the drill there. We're put a little hole, pull out this dowel, yep. and now we can drill the second hole. You ready? Yep. Okay, you crank it. Whoop, 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 whoop. Keep going. There you go. See it sticking out? Yep. Keep going. There you go. Thanks. Now let's do this one. Okay, now we're gonna do another that one. That's simple. Yep, we need to drill a hole that this fits into in there. So we gotta figure out what size this is, okay? Can you read this? Um, what does that say? I have, I have no idea. Basically, six tenths of an inch. There you go. Keep going. that thread. There we go. Crank again. There we go. Nice! Now, keep going. Stop. Yep, keep drawing. We got a lot to go. Ram it through this one, make sure that it's a good tight fit. There we go, that's yeah. nice. Okay, very carefully push it through. All the way down and push, push, push. Here, I'll, I'll pound it, watch out. There, and so now this lamp can go 
So it'll be something like this, I want it like or, that. or this, or I can take a little bit off of this and make it even go higher. Right. Melody, can you grab me the block plane? See if you can figure it out. Where's the block plane? Are those block planes? Nope, those aren't block planes. Is it that one? Nope, down. There you go, block plane. Bring it here. You can take a little bit off the corners. Clean them up and make them just a little bit cleaner. So we're going to do that on this. Three passes. Okay? Okay. Okay, you do this corner. I'll hold it. You do it. Three passes. That's trust. Don't have your fingers underneath. You'll run into the board. Two. Three, good. Two. So we're going to make little triangles here, and we're going to round off the end of it just a little bit. See how that would look? Don't hit it, don't hit it. Let, it, let the saw ride on it, up and down, not up and down, just in and out. There you go. I want you to chamfer these edges. One, two, three, one, two, three. There you go. Close. Put more weight on the front when you start. Right now you're at this angle. We want to bring it to like right about this angle. There you go. One more. Three. Okay, this side. One. Two. Okay, wait, wait, stop. Three. What happens is you're getting to this end and it's catching and you're tipping like this. You want to keep, when you go past, you don't want the weight on the, look at them, you're not paying attention. You don't want the weight on the front. When you're at the far end, you want the weight back here. There you go. There you go. So it would look like this. Nice. Do you like that? Yes. You want to do that? Yes. Shump, shump. There you go. But like that, does that look good? Yeah. Or what you want? Okay. Oh, it's stuck now. And I'm taking out that whole line, just like that. So you want to do them? You you hit. I'll guide this. I'll guide the chisel. So you you hit it. Okay, hit. There you go. Hit it. This is a short one. Stop. Okay, keep going. So watch the back of the chisel. Watch the back of the chisel. See how the chisel's moving over. Okay, you're gonna follow along. So I'm gonna move it, and you're gonna follow. Okay, go. Stop, there you go. Sharp tools are safe, dull tools are not. Keep the tool sharp. There you go. Look where you're aiming. There you go. There you go. Nice carving. Keep going. There. Look, at, look where you're aiming. There you go. Start right there. There you go. Okay, finish it up, Mel. There you go. See? Just like that. No, hands farther out. Like there. Put your thumbs in. We're going to scrape it. Is there? You get off everything? You want to try it now? Come here. See this? Just making those corners a little bit more round. You do that end. And then rotate it as you go. There you go. Whoa. Put some piece on. Put some finish on there. Dip your finger in and spread it on. Put 
gonna show you everywhere. Melody, right. yeah. wipe, start wiping it off. Not your hands, the, the wood. So once you wipe, once you wipe, no, no, wipe, wipe them off first and then put them out here. So you want to get it all off. It's this, um, you pound it down in. No, there you go. Right there. Right, pound it down in. Keep pounding. Keep pounding, keep pounding. Okay. Come on, pound it, babe. Pound it. Hit it all the way down. There you go. There you go. Ow. Put a washer on. We can put it through a little ways. Put this on here. Make sure it fits in all the way through. We need a washer for the other side. Here. You put on the washer and the nut. Okay, do you first put on the washer? Put the washer on first. There you go. Now put the nut on. No, I'm okay. Okay, this and okay. See if it adjusts. Look at that. See, that's tight enough. You can lift it up and down. You can put the lamp anywhere you want. Is it in? Yep. Whoa, so tight. You like that? Yay. So there you have it. We have a desk lamp, magenta cord. This is my daughter's, and it was a lot of fun to work with her in the shop. This is a great kids project, and I have a bunch of other kids projects. If you'd like to see that, I have a playlist. As well as on my site, I have plans for this if you'd like to build it with your kid, as well as several other projects, uh, many of which are perfectly free, so you can get them and make them with the kids in the shop. Great beginner beginner projects to, to get up and going. Mm -hmm. This is a fun one because there's no glue. It's a very simple joinery. Uh, anyone can do it in an afternoon or a weekend. It's a, it's a fun, fun project. So do you enjoy it? Yeah. Yeah? This will be going on her desk. And also, I have a collaboration. This is my daughter, Melody. She is actually, she has her own channel called Melody's Workbench, three words. Uh, and so if you'd like to see her rendition where she walks through it and uh, talks to the video, you can take a look at her channel. I'll leave a link to that down below. But this was a, a fun one to, to do with my daughter. We do them from every now and then. So if you like that, um, tell me in the comments down below what you liked. And if you do have any other thoughts, comments, let me know those as well. I do want to say thank you to all the patrons on Patreon. You guys are making this channel possible. So thank you for that. Uh, a lot of the ideas and projects come from patrons as well as we have a bunch of things that we do where we'll turn on the, the camera and let you watch live while we're building things. So thank you to everyone there. If you do ever meet anyone scrolling over the side, tell them thank you. That'll do it for now. And until next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Okay. Normally I say patrons quite literally keep the light on, but today... Yeah, yeah, yeah? They literally do it. My daughter's doing it today. Sorry, guys. <laughs>